Okay guys, we're going to do some uh, some basic key locks um, or Americanas. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you from a side control position and also from a mount. Um, they're very similar. Uh, so if I'm doing it from side control, a lot of times it will happen where I might have head control over here. I'll be looking to gain control over the wrist. I might push that down and I'll feed the hand into my, uh, my hand that's controlling the head. From here, I will go under the arm. I always make sure that I'm going palm facing up. And the reason being is that it allows me to like pull my way through. So if I'm here and I go like this, I can pull my hand through until I get to the, to the Americana position. Uh, if I go this way, kind of get stuck, if, especially if he's fighting me here and the, the arm's being driven to the mat whereas if I go like this, I can always generally find a way through okay, I'll get to there I like to drive my weight over here now so I'm like driving my weight towards his hand from here, I will sweep that off around his head so I trace as I sweep my arm, I trace my elbow around his head so it's like okay the elbow follows the, the outline of the head gets to the other side and then the important thing is that my elbow needs to stay connected with his head so there's a couple of concepts let's pull you a bit more this way a couple of concepts when you're looking at joint blocks is that you always need to be controlling the two joints opposite the joint that you're attacking so in this instance I'm attacking the shoulder, so I'm going to control his elbow um, with an indirect control on the wrist and because that is bent. And then the way I control the next joint this way, which is actually the spinal column, is with my elbow against his head. Okay, so I lock that into position. So again, if I'm here, I thread that through, catch, hand comes under. So the grip that I'm getting is this grip, so my hand comes like this, palm up, walks around, goes over my wrist, this is over his wrist, that position, so catch, catch the wrist, walk my hand through, get to my wrist, sweep the, the arm around, lock it up against his neck, so the elbow is locked up against his neck, then I want to like almost de-accelerate like you're on a motorbike. So I turn my hands down, so de-acceleration, I want to drive my head forward and then I, I'm scooping the arm back. Okay. Right, from a mount position, slightly different, and there's a couple of variations from mount, so i just spin you this way. So if we mount, maybe one of the variations is I, I manage to get a two-on-one situation. I drive your hand to the mat. Notice that when I'm doing it, my hands are, my, or my arms are in a, a straight locked position. Because the idea is I want to use my body weight here. So I catch that, I drive with my body weight. It's not me going like this and pushing with my arms. This takes way too much energy. If my opponent's stronger than me, it's going to be a mission to, to get that arm into position. So I'm here, I drive it down, as soon as I get there, elbow drops, next to the head, this hand shoots under, arm facing up, walks through, connects with my wrist. Generally what will happen is I'll have my hooks in, or I'll have hidden hooks here, um, so it can maybe bounce that way. I will hook with my leg to prevent myself from going that way. If he bumps the other way, I'll hook with the other leg and then I'll just finish it off. So de-acceleration with the hands and then use his fingers like a paintbrush. I paint straight down, my head comes down, start curling up and then we bring on the tap. Okay, so that's that variation. And then from the mount position, that same variation that you saw um, in 
the side control, you'll see it here. So the headlock version where I catch, sweep it through, and we get to here, and then we go for the Camille or, or Key Lock or Americana.